Welcome to this edition of Psychic Tips, Tricks, and How-Tos, where it's all about helping you unlock your psychic potential. Our topic of discussion today is, are you born with natural psychic abilities, or do you have to practice and develop them? My name is Dar Payment, and I'm a professional psychic medium and channel who is passionate about sharing with you how to accelerate your psychic abilities. Our question today comes from Amanda Kay from Michigan, and Amanda poses a really great question, which is, are we born with natural psychic abilities, or do you have to develop it? Well, you know, the long and short answer to that is yes and yes. (laughs) You know, the truth is, we're all born with intuitive abilities. All of us have intuitive faculties, and they come in many different forms. Some of us have the intuitive ability to feel. And, you know, here I'm using the the word psychic and intuitive. I'm using them interchangeably. There is a slight difference. But nowadays we do, even in the professional psychic world, use intuition and psychic together. But going back to the very uh, different gifts that we all have and varying degrees, Some have the psychic ability or the intuitive ability of feeling. They feel other people's emotions. And that's called clairsentience or clairfeeling. Others have the intuitive ability where they just know things. They get almost like downloads. That's called claircognizance or clairknowing. While others have the gift of intuitive or psychic hearing. They hear with their intuitive or their inner ears. And that's called clear audience or clear hearing. And then of course, the one that is, you know, really, I I would say the mega star because of Hollywood, everyone wants to have this one. It's called clairvoyance or clear seeing, you know, being able to see images and visions with your third eye or through your third eye. So we all have these abilities And some of us are operating with these abilities and they're so natural to us that we really don't even see them as a psychic or intuitive ability. You know, when I was very young, I'm a very clear audience person. I'm also clairsentient. I just feel, I feel other people's emotions. And I was often labeled as a very sensitive child. But I was always, 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 even as a child, hearing voices in my head. (laughs) I'm not Joan of Arc, but I was hearing, as I understood later, when I was about seven years old and I had my first psychic mentor, I realized I was hearing my spiritual team talking to me. Now, yes, to the fact that it is, if you want to work and understand your psychic abilities, it's a great idea to get some education, to train yourself, to not only notice um, when you're using these abilities, but also to know how to use these abilities at will. Many times people with you know psychic abilities that are latent, that they're not really noticing they're using, they come in fleeting moments. And so they don't know how to actually turn the switch on to where they can use these abilities at will. So Amanda K. from Michigan, everyone is born with natural psychic abilities. And if you want to be able to use these abilities at will, it's a great idea to get out there, get yourself a good mentor or read some good books, watch some great videos on YouTube and practice and develop these abilities. If you enjoyed this vlogcast, like and subscribe, and I'll make sure to give you more tools, tips, tricks, and how-tos to help you live the psychic life. This is Dar Payment wishing you blessings, love, and light.